Hello everyone, welcome back to another Walking Dead video here on the channel. Major General Bill said he had spies out in the world, so we're going to get into that and let's talk about it. So, you know, we know Rick goes back to the CRM and he receives the Echelon briefing. And while he's talking to Major General Bill and we're get, we are getting the briefing, we also find out at the same time Rick does, that Major General Bill has spies uh, around in, in, in communities around the world. And uh, so in this video, we're going to be talking about who could Major General Bill's spy be in the communities that we know well, we're just going to talk about in the main show, we're not going to get into fear because, you know, they jump around so much there may not even be anyone there. And to be honest, I lost interest in fear after Morgan left. And um, so, yeah, I don't really care about fear that much, you know, but we're going to talk about Alexandria and the Commonwealth and who his spies could be there. But just being real, if there was a spy in fear, we know it's Strand. Okay, so given the location of the Commonwealth, we know the CRM had to know about the Commonwealth. And with what Major General Bill said, it's very likely that there was spies in the Commonwealth, or at least a spy. So we're going to start with the Commonwealth, and I'm going to tell you who I think the most likely person to be the spy was in the Commonwealth. Now, I'm sure most of you thought right away about Hornsby because, you know, he was very much a weasel. But I don't think he was the spy because that's who, you know, we would think of first. But we, I do think that Lance knew of the CRM because he does mention other arrangements with other groups, you know, near the end of his arc after he's he's already, you know, in hot water with uh, with Pamela. He, he does make those comments about the other groups. So I do think he knew about the CRM. He maybe even supplied them. Some of the people that disappeared from the Commonwealth, maybe he supplied those people to the CRM as test subjects. So I'm going to throw Sebastian into this because he was another shifty weasel and he would be out for himself. So I could definitely see Sebastian filling this, this role. You know, he would know the inner workings of the, of the Commonwealth and he would be able to provide valuable information as a spy. So I don't think we can overlook Sebastian, but uh, he's not my number one pick. So another possibility, and I'm going to go with this as my absolute long shot as one of Bill's spies, and some of you may actually even get mad at me about this, but Stephanie would know how things worked. The real Stephanie, she would know how things worked in the Commonwealth, and uh, she would be a likely target, but I don't think her character would do something like that. But I had to throw her in there as a long shot. If I had to pick one person from the Commonwealth to be Bill Spy, it would be fake Stephanie. Just because she did a great job fooling, um, well, not really the fans, but fooling the, uh, Eugene and um, people at the Commonwealth about who she was. And whenever things go south, we she doesn't die and we just never see her again. So I think it's very likely that she was Bill Spy in the Commonwealth. Let me know what you think. If it's not her, who do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments, and I look forward to seeing who you think it could be. So now that we've covered the Commonwealth, we're going to move on to who I think Major General Bill Spies could have been in Alexandria. Okay, so up front, it's none of these characters. It has to have been someone that was already established in Alexandria when we first get there. Now, I know some of you may think Jadis, and Jadis was a bad character. I mean, she was a good character, but she was, you know, back and forth, and but she was all about herself. But I don't think she was the spy for Alexandria, because for one thing, she wasn't an Alexandrian, so she wouldn't know how things worked in Alexandria, even though she was in the area, and she did trade people to the CRM. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate Jadis as the spy in, a, in Alexandria. I think it's possible that Spencer Monroe could have been one of the spies. I mean, he definitely knew what was going on in, in Alexandria, but he was loyal to his mother. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Spencer. I think he's a possibility, but with him being loyal to his mother, um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think so, but we have to, I had to list him as a possibility. This is another pick that makes some of you angry, but I do think we have to talk about Aaron because Aaron was on the road quite a bit. He did know a lot about how Alexandria worked. So Aaron is my long shot as far as 
who could be one of Bill's spies. I do think, you know, if we were to find out that it was Aaron, it would be so shocking. But, um, yeah, he's kind of my long shot for, for this role. I don't think it's Aaron, just to be clear. But um, I had to mention him just because he knew so much about Alexandria and he was on the road. So he did have the opportunity to to meet someone from the CRM. So now my number one pick for who I think could have been Bill's spy in Alexandria is Heath. Because, you know, Heath would have known about a lot of how things worked in Alexandria prior to Rick coming. He did know about their attack on the Saviors. He did go missing. Now, you know, it was confirmed by, I believe, Angela King that he was traded to the CRM by Jadis. But, you know, I, I did read an, uh, an article in a, and I, I even made a video on it where Gimple talks about the PPP exemption and how the stories could be shifted from things that, you know, that they had not confirmed. And I could see this being something like that, because I do think the PPP exemption are, does refer to the, the operatives that Bill had planted in different communities. And there is a PPP card dropped where Heath went missing. So is it possible that that card didn't belong to Jadis? Cause why would she have it? You know, she was just a, one of the garbage people who traded, who traded people to the CRM unless she was the spy. Or is it likely that in the in the scuffle that Heath dropped his PPP card and that he was actually the spy? I think I think for Alexandra Heath makes the most sense. Uh, let me know what you think. I mean, it's possible that Major General's Bill Spy could have been just like one of the background characters, and we would find out later. But I don't think so. I mean. If it's going to be something that important, I do think it would have been a character that we would have come across. And I think the most likely um, candidate for Alexandria would have been Heath, just with the way he disappeared. The card being found, I do think that he probably dropped it. Anyway, let me know what you think of this theory. Who do you think is the most likely spy for um, the Commonwealth, for Alexandria? And if you want to, you can even let me know for fear, I, I, I think is as bad a character as Strand was, he was, and he definitely would have fit that. But, um, I didn't really include fear in this because the fear characters move around so much, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this theory and who you think could have been the spies. And, you know, it was just talked about just a little bit. So if there is more story with Rick and Michonne, do you think that the spies will, will play into that? Do you think they will, still be loyal to what Bill was trying to do? Do you think they could maybe form a group and be an, uh, maybe like a villain or a group that Rick has to deal with if and Michonne has to deal with if there is more story to tell? If there's a season two, do you think that will come into play? Well, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed If you did and you want to see more of my content, you can sub to the channel and you'll you won't miss anything that comes up in the future. You can click the box on the left and that will take you to my The Once Live playlist. Or you can click the box on the right and that will take you to one of my most recent uploads. And guys, I will see you in the next video.